If you have some experience using Word already, but you don't use styles yet, you might wonder why they occupy such a large amount of space on the Home tab. They're prominent because once you know how to use them, you'll be able to produce documents more efficiently and it will become easy for you to incorporate more advanced features of the software. For starters, you can think about styles as a bundle of predefined formatting options. By applying each style, we save ourselves the trouble of having to manually click through all of the formatting options every time we wish to use them. You can also think about styles as invisible electronic labels for different parts of your document. This becomes useful when you wish to create a table of contents and it enhances accessibility for people who use screen reader software. I prepared this document using Latin placeholder text so you won't be distracted by trying to read it. Instead, focus on the headings that are written in English. Torts, intentional torts, assault, battery, and conversion. The general procedure for applying styles is easy. Just select the text and then click on one of the styles. I'll select torts and click on the style called title. Then I'll select Intentional Torts and click on the style called Heading 1. And I'll repeat this for Assault, Battery, and Conversion, except I'll use Heading 2. It's not technically required to use the styles in their hierarchical order, but it keeps the document tidy and can be helpful when you begin to use other features such as building a table of contents. If you are typing your own document from scratch, you would likely have a plan in mind for your writing and you could apply the styles as you go. I'll add one more tort, false imprisonment, and I'll label it as heading two. I'll press enter at the end of my last paragraph, select heading two, and then type false imprisonment. I'll press enter and notice that my style has automatically changed to normal. From there, I can continue typing my document. Unlike if I had formatted each heading individually by manually applying the commands in the font group, for example, I can go to the design tab and choose from the different document formatting options that are available for the theme that I'm using. If I place my mouse, over each of these items, you can see how the look of each of the headings changes. When I find a format that I like, I can click and it will apply to the whole document. To reveal more options, I can change the theme of my document by clicking on themes and choosing a different one. Notice that these options for different designs have changed again. I can also change individual styles within a theme. Suppose I like the look of Heading 2, but I want to make the text smaller. I could select each Heading 2 and use the ordinary font size command to change them, but in a real document that might have dozens of subheadings, this would be time consuming, and if I wasn't careful, I could make a mistake. I can accomplish this much more effectively if I right-click on Heading 2 in the Styles Gallery, and then click on Modify, and change the font smaller. I'm going to choose Font Size 8, and click OK. Notice that all the items that were formatted as Heading 2 have changed. If I go back to the Modify Style menu, you'll notice some familiar commands, and if you need to find others, you can click on Format in the bottom left, and then whatever aspect you would like to change, such as numbering. The interface within these menus might feel complicated to you at first, so let me show you another way to modify the styles. Inside the regular document interface, I can apply different settings to a certain paragraph. Here I'll select Battery, 
and I'll change the font color to red. Right now, just this one instance has changed, which makes sense because it is the only text I selected to begin with. Now, with the text still selected, I'll go up to the thumbnail preview of Heading 2, right-click, and choose Update Heading 2 to match selection. When I click on this, notice that the thumbnail preview has changed. It's easy to see the red text, and all four instances of Heading 2 within my document have changed as well. Although you may be comfortable using the basic commands to format all of your text as you type your documents, once you learn how to use styles, you can increase your productivity while being confident that your documents have uniform formatting.